Street Fighter Zero Two Alpha has a number of hidden Easter eggs in it that could not be found in any other Alpha. There's Championship Edition Ryu, Champion Edition Ken, uh, Ken Championship Edition Chun Li, Champion Edition Vega, and Champion Edition Sagat, as well as Sakura having a hidden ninth version color with yellow gloves and yellow sneakers. The game also has its original cast of Championship Edition characters, such as Dalsim, Dalsim, Zangief, and these, these characters had, you had to put a code in before in, Alpha, in the original Alpha 2, as well as Evil Ryu, you had to put a code. You just hit start twice on Evil Ryu on all the characters to get their alternates, which makes it nice and easy. Alternate Chun-Li, you just have to hit start once. Sakura, you have to hit start five times to get her alternate color. Now characters like Chun-Li, Champion Edition Chun-Li, I would definitely recommend using Autoblock on all Championship Edition characters because you're going to need it. They're very limited. Chun-Li is very limited. She doesn't have her spinning bird kick. She has some pirouette kick, standing forward, forward fierce, and instead of having a bird kick, she has the singing shoe, which is not very effective in this game, not in this mode. Um, I don't know, I can't tell if the hit detection's been changed or if... You know, she's just different because she's Championship Edition mode. Just her specific uh, hitbox hit detections are all different, but the whole game feels a little different. They definitely tweaked it. But Chun Li's still a force no matter how you slice her. Championship Edition Sagat. Now, he's, he's definitely. Um, I play a lot of Sagat. He doesn't have his Tiger Knee, um, and all of his air punches are kicks. His uppercut doesn't seem to be any more powerful, but right there, I'm do right here, I'm doing punches. Those are those are air punches, and they're coming out as kicks. But he's still, I mean, a very very powerful character. I could take on a noob with him no problem. But uh, definitely, again, you want to use auto block because you, you need everything you can get because they're very, like I said, very limited. Only for professional players. That's right, Sagat. You tell him. Rah, ah, ah, ah. Interestingly enough. Saget has his Scar power-up that's in Alpha 3, and is in Street Fighter 4. But right here you can see power-up, boosh. Now I don't know the length, the, the extent of it. Can I keep powering up the uppercut? I couldn't tell you. Um, I think I think it just gives you one activation. One activation on the uppercut, and then once you do the uppercut, it shuts itself off. Now we're on to Sakura. Sakura has her, her, her aerial knuckle which is interesting, but much like Saget's Scar, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that Saget's Scar is a one-time activation, one-time use type of deal, because she only gets one knuckle, and it, it basically puts her in a, a terrible position when she lands, because she's open for a level three. I mean, you have time to get up and, and punish her with a level three, making her sorry she even tried it. Championship Edition Vega. He has his Psycho Crusher. He has his uh, Scissor Kick. Psycho Crusher is very effective, does a lot of damage. Has his head stamp into the Fire Fist, but I'm right here, I'm trying, and I'm not getting the Fake Me Out. He, has, he also has the Fake Me Out Fire Fist. He doesn't, whatever it's called, Psycho Fist, Psycho Fake Me Out. He only goes above the head and spins around and then tries to come down on you with a hand. Can't do that one. Again, I'm using Auto Block, and I'm. Adon's just pacing me, he's doing a good job of keeping me in tow. What's cool about this game is um, all the characters are in their second player, uh, second player colors. I got smoked. He smoked my ass! Ken, uh, what can I say about him? Basically, the only thing he's really missing is uh, he has a laydown move if you go down forward and start. <clears throat> he doesn't have that, and um, he doesn't have a fire uppercut. Now for two, uh, Sodom's levels in all in Japanese. Um, and here we see the text is mostly in English. But in one out of 72, it's some ridiculous number out of gameplay, times playing the game, if the, memory, if the game's kept on in the arcade uh, or, in, or in RAM on a Sega Saturn or something, it will display this level in English. But in, this, in Alpha 2 Zero, in Zero 2 Alpha, I'm sorry, it's always in English. It never goes back to Japanese. Strange. 
One thing that won me over about this game was the, the survival mode, holding three punches and hit start at the title screen. And um, you can be, I think you can be the Championship Edition characters. Maybe not, I don't think in these modes you can. I think you can only be the extra characters like Evil Riot, which I'm being right now. Uh, but these modes are great, fantastic. This, these, these modes are what prompted me to want to do this tutorial. Holding three kicks and pressing start on the, on the title screen grants you the dramatic battle, which is really, really interesting because you fight four bosses in this. First being Adon. Adon's reprising his role as one of the four Heavenly Kings, well, two Heavenly Kings from Street Fighter 1. It's just great having ultimate, uh, endless supers, endless supers and teaming up. I, I picked uh, Sagan and Ryu, they're, I mean, they're, they're pretty much the ultimate tag team in my opinion. It'd be good to see these two in uh, Street Fighter X Tekken. Oh, uh, the Vism, also known as the Oricon, has been streamlined in this version. Um, you only have to hit the two fierce buttons to activate it. Instead of hitting in the original uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2, you had to hit one punch and two kicks, or two punches and one kick, I think. I just mash those buttons and uh, usually bang it out, but this is actually streamlined. Alpha counters take a meter and a half in this game, unlike um, Alpha 2 where it's just a meter. Oof, Saget ended that quick. I'd love to see Saget in Street Fighter X Tekken, I have to say that again. Ho hopefully he will appear. <coughs> Second heavenly uh, king here is um, Sagat himself. So we're basically uh, in the Street Fighter One era in this dramatic battle. It's cool that uh, the Australian and um, Grassy Field are in this game, like they are in Alpha Two, as in the stages. You can only be picked in Alpha Two if you hold uh, a on a rematch. You get a hold start four seconds on Sagat or Vega's picture. Take of the dictator. But this is this is like one of the coolest things about the Alpha series is the dramatic battle, and it's in every one because uh, Alpha Two didn't have the dramatic battle. Alpha One did. And now Alpha Two does as well. This th this version is basically the championship edition of Alpha, <laughs> hence why it has so many championship edition characters. Now here we have Vega. Vega, now, now we're playing the Street Fighter 2 era, Vega's the third Heavenly King. I wonder who could be the fourth Heavenly King. I love constantly auto-comming and just running up to the computer and just tapping the crap out of him. Nice and cheesy. This, this game is basically the um, sister to Alpha 2 Gold, and I think they're I think they're equal because you don't have all these Championship Edition characters in Alpha 2 Gold. You do have you do have Cami, which is great, and um, the playable Shinokuma, who's in Alpha 2. But you ha you have to meet certain uh, requirements. Boosh. You have to reach certain, re reach certain requirements to reach him, but he's non-playable. And the last boss is Shinokuma himself. Speak of the devil. Speaker of Shun Goku, Satsu. He loves he he loves constant oracons. I mean Saget, Saget in red and white, I even color coordinate. It's really easy to color coordinate in these dream matches. What's really cool is um Shinokuma and Ra uh, Evil Ryu and Shinokuma. You can only play you can't play any championship edition characters in this mode. Uh, but if you pick Evil Ryu and, and you pick Akuma, all their colors coordinate, which is fantastic. You get one button on one, it's the same button on the other, and their geese are the same color. He loves it. Look at it. Akuma loves it. They get love. This mode is really fun. This is really, really a great game. So that's a review of Street Fighter Zero Two Alpha. Now I had I had said, stated previously that Sagat's knee, Tiger Knee, was not in the game when it when it is. I checked Strategy Wiki and it says that yes, it is in the game. Um, also, that basically Street Fighter Alpha Two Gold is Zero Two Alpha. Um, 
I didn't think the EX characters were in it at all. They're called the Super Street Fighter 2 characters, but supposedly they are. I haven't played the game since I own, I own the Saturn. I haven't played Alpha 2 Gold, so I, I don't quite recall. I'm playing the arcade version uh, that was only available in, in Japanese arcades. So um, some things are slightly different. Uh, it, says, it says in Strategy Wiki that there are six new moves added to six individual characters. Now all I know is of Sakura, Sagat, and uh, Vega, because he's got the Psycho Punch, the Light Up Scar, and, and the Overhead Punch for Sakura. I don't, I don't know of any other. So if anybody is aware of any other um, super moves, uh, special moves rather, then I, please leave a comment. I would like to, I would like myself to know. Um, Okay, keep more ES characters before new sidearms. This says there's a new sidearms win icon when you when you defeat your opponent with a taunt. Um, not an expert at killing people with taunts. I have done it by accident, but I'll have to investigate that further. I'm not I'm not anywhere near pro enough for that. And basically that's it. I mean, the game is just fantastic. If if you don't if you can't find Alpha Two Gold or can't afford it, rather not just get the main just get the main version. And play zero two alpha. It's the same thing. I, I played it online. I played it. On, I played it on Kalera. Played it on, in West Wonderland, which is the current uh, run by my friend uh, Brownout or King Bradley over at um, down in Virginia, I believe. But yeah, that's so. That, that's basically it. Later, haters.